Hi, this is our video recording for our Grammar 1 class today. We're going to try to confirm or re um, or, or understand better the difference between adverbs and adjectives. When we use adverbs and when we use adjectives. Um, so, uh, you have your handout today. It says adjective or adverb. We're going to address this task in a slightly different way than we have in the past, just so um, maybe it'll make more sense this way than to some of you than the other way did. Okay, so let's think first, look at your handout. The first thing we want to remember about adjectives, adjectives, adjectives describe or we say they modify, that means they describe or they change or they add some information to nouns. So if I have a noun, right, a curtain, curtain is a thing, right, so it's a noun, person, place, or thing. If I have a word that tells me something about the curtain, describes the curtain, like the white curtain, right, white tells me about curtain, so white is an adjective. It's modifying the noun. It's describing or adding information, giving us more information about the curtain. Now, adjectives go in two places in sentences in English. Like this, they go before the noun that they modify, or sometimes they come after the noun. What if I say the curtain is white? Now, white still tells us about the curtain, but look, it's not coming before curtain. It's coming after curtain. And it's on the other side of the verb. Here's the verb in the sentence, and the adjective's on the other side of the verb. So um, when that happens, this verb is called a linking verb. You may refer remember that term. It's linking, connecting. To link means to connect or to join up. It's linking the adjective to the word that it's modifying. That verb is connecting the adjective to the noun that it's modifying. So those are the two places that adjectives come in English. Okay, before the noun or after the noun with a linking verb. Okay, so take a look at our first um, section there. Richard is careless is an example there. Careless is an adjective. It's telling us about Richard, and it's on the other side of a linking verb, right? Um, now, that's different than the second example, because the second example is not an, about an adjective. It's about an adverb. So let's remember what adverbs do. Adverbs tell us about or modify verbs. So if I say, um, uh, he walked quickly, this word quickly is telling us how he walked. Walked is a verb, so quickly is an adverb in this sentence, okay? Now, adverbs come, generally, they come after the verb, but they could come before the verb. We could say, he quickly walked. So adverbs can come either before or after um, a verb. And they might not be right next to the verb, they could be a couple words away. So he locked up the door. He locked up the door quickly. Quickly is telling us how he locked. But there's some words in between door and he locked. I mean between locked and quickly. He locked up the door. It's in between quickly. Okay? All right. So um, you can take a look at the other examples in the first section there. 
but the second uh, one there said Richard talks carelessly. Remember, many times adverbs end in L-Y. So here, carelessly is telling us how he talks. Talks is a verb, so carelessly is an adverb. All right? Um, all right. Now, adverbs cannot modify nouns. Adverbs cannot modify nouns. You can see just these two examples here. He is a quietly man. That doesn't sound right at all, does it? He is a quietly man. No, quietly is an adverb. We can't modify man with the adverb quietly. And um, let's see. Um, I have a happily dog. That doesn't, it doesn't even sound right to us as speakers of English, does it? So adverbs cannot modify nouns. Okay, now, another thing about um, adjectives. Adjectives. Rule number two says adjectives always follow a form of the verb to be when they modify the noun before the verb. So that's like the example we were just looking for here. But verbs, forms of the verb to be, I've listed some of them here. The infinitive to be has different forms. They say I am, you are, he is, I was, you were, I have been, I was being. These are all forms of the verb to be. So when we have a form of the verb to be, one of these, and we have a noun before it, then the adjective is going to come over here, just like we saw. This is going to be a linking verb. So for example, I, that's a pronoun, like a noun, right? Was, that's a form of the verb to be. I was nervous. Nervous is describing I, so it's on the other side of the verb. This is a linking verb, and this adjective is modifying that noun. That's uh, one uh, example of where an adjective can do. Adjectives can also follow what we call sense verbs or verbs of appearance. So I listed these here. Remember, our senses, our five senses, are being able to see, hear, feel, taste, and smell. Those are our five senses. So sense verbs are verbs that are about seeing, hearing, feeling, tasting, or smelling. So we also put an adjective on the other side. So here's the noun. Here's one of these verbs, and here's an adjective. That's another place it can go. So, Sharon's cough, the cough is the noun. It sounds, that's a verb that has to do with hearing, bad. Bad is the adjective describing the cough on the other side of a sense verb. Or the verb that can go here can be a verb of appearance. So, for example, if we say um, a verb of appearance here, we could say the cut looked awful. The cut looked awful. Here's the noun. Cut is a thing. Here's a verb that is about how something looks. And here's an adjective. Adjective is modifying the cut. How did the cut look? It looked awful. So these are just different ways to think about um, where adjectives land in a sentence. Remember, adverbs come pretty much anywhere in a sentence, but adjectives only come in these places, either right before the noun they're modifying or after a linking verb 
if there's a sense verb or a verb of a parent. All right, what we want to do always is we want to make sure we're looking at whether the describing word is modifying a noun or a verb. That's the first thing we always want to think of. All right, so let's end this video here. We'll come back in a minute and try some, try some examples. All right.